So for energy to be distributed, it also had to be clean. Very simple. You put all these together, and it gave us a mission. That was our calling, to make clean, reliable energy, and the key word, affordable for everyone on the planet. That was, our, that was the calling for our generation. And we at Bloom had to play a part in it. Because we felt that it was our calling to play a part in this big equation. Typically in the Valley, companies are founded with a technology and a product, and then you look for what markets can I serve. This company was formed differently. We saw the big problem, and we said, what is a product that can really meet this human need? We didn't have to start from square one. Electricity was invented either accidentally or by innovation a long time ago. We didn't even have to figure out that it needed to be affordable. People knew that a long time ago. You know, the need for backyard power to be clean, that's a centuries-old idea. We just have to go back to it. Can I get some help on the remote here? Thank you. So, distributed for electricity. Thomas Edison had this idea 100 years ago. He was way before his times, way before his technology. So all this was out there. People had already thought about it. The fuel cell. Yes, folks, we did not invent the fuel cell. 1830s, it was there. What we needed to do was a very simple task. Take all these pieces of jigsaw puzzle and weave them into one big coherent picture. What we needed to do is clean, affordable electricity that can be distributed and, and that's efficient. All together, at the same time, in the same place. That's what had not been done. We had to integrate these ideas into one single product. And that is what we have been at. And to do this, remember the affordable part being highlighted? We need to start with something simple. The core of our technology, everyone keeps asking, what's that magic sauce? What's that magic technology? Where does it go? Well, I think I'm going to disappoint you all. I'm simply going to tell you the core of our technology simply is sand. Available in plenty in multiple continents in ocean beaches. This sand, from this sand you get zirconium oxide, something that we use. Again, affordable, available in plenty. And it has a particular property, a scientific property, that allows us to make a fuel cell. Again, folks, 1980s patent. We didn't have to invent this. Credit to Walter Nernst. What we did with that, though, is we perfected the technology to create what I want to introduce to you the Bloom Energy Fuel Cell. A flat piece of sand, flat piece of sand, inexpensive materials, but this is the core of the technology. Well, Fuel cells have been around for a long time. Things have been done. What is all this about? Why is this so different? We take this material and convert it into this, starting with raw powders, with inexpensive manufacturing techniques, and we call that process powder to power. 
powder to power for flat pieces of sand. And the uniqueness of this, here is what it is. There are many, but let me focus on the top four. First one is affordability, cost. Second one is the kind of fuels that we can use on this fuel cell. The third one is we can both use it as an energy producing device and we can use it as an energy storage device. And the last one is electrical performance and efficiency. Let me walk through each one of these for you because it's at the core of what we do. Again, as I went through, we make this out of sand, it's the cost. Affordable materials. You take that with mass manufacturing techniques that the semiconductor industry has invented a long time ago. We have no interest in reinventing the wheel. What you end up with is inexpensive materials. And we like that. More than us, our customers like that because they can have an affordable product. No precious metals, no corrosive acids, no molten metals, unlike the legacy fuel cell technologies, flat piece of sand. The next is a very important attribute again, fuel flexibility. What goes in to the fuel cell? We can use a variety of fuels. It can be a traditional fuel, natural gas, propane, you name it. It can be a renewable fuel, landfill gas, biomass gas, ethanol, whatever you have. This fuel cell can take any of those fuels and because of the unique chemistry of this cell, use that to produce electricity without the need for chemical plants that are complex that needs to process the fuel. The fuel cell itself does all that for us. That's the uniqueness of this fuel cell. How is that important to the customer? By giving them fuel flexibility, depending on what location they use this product, they can use the local fuel from there. That's a big deal. Secondly, if you have the choice of multiple fuels that you can switch at will, you can arbitrage to get the cheapest fuel going into your box and thereby get the best economics out of this box. That's how it's useful for the customer. The third attribute goes to something we call reversibility. Remember Mars? Taking solar electricity and producing fuels. Remember what we're doing here? Taking fuels and producing electricity. 